So I want to do a quick video on liquid line solenoid valves and coils for a walk-in cooler, walk-in freezer. Um, we have an evaporator here. Basically, um, just kind of going over how to troubleshoot these coils and whether or not um, you need them or you don't need them. I'd recommend on any installation that these coils and solenoids be in place. So pretty much here's our, our valve, pretty much stays shut unless our coil is energized, which then uh, opens our solenoid, which allows refrigerant flow. If this is de-energized, our solenoid is closed, which stops the flow of refrigerant, and pretty much the unit uh, compressor pretty much starts sucking. Uh, you know whatever refrigerant is left on the on the low side so your pressure drops and your system pumps down and cycles off on low pressure that's really the most ideal way to shut a, a system down that way you kind of remove all your refrigerant from the evaporator so during the startup of the next cycle you don't have a, a bunch of liquid sitting in your evaporator that gets suck back to your compressor which could damage your compressor so having a liquid line solenoid definitely helps um, with uh, compressor life and operation so this solenoid pretty much is controlled by your thermostat and when the thermostat is closed it sends power to our coil which opens the valve up allows refrigerant flow and does the opposite when um, it's satisfied all right so right here we're looking at our solenoid um, we have power applied to it now. And if you're ever curious as how you can tell if there's power to it, well, you can take your meter here, of course, and see if there's power. But also, you can take your screwdriver and you can feel the top of this. There's a magnetic pull on there. So that coil is giving us a magnetic pull, a magnetic force, which we can kind of feel. It's pulling my screwdriver. So I know this coil is energized. Therefore, my solenoid must be open. Of course, the true way to figure that out is by having your refrigerant gauges on there to see if you got, you know, flow through that, through to the solenoid here itself. Okay. So that's that's that. So if you ever come to a unit where the valve or the coil is not working, and you don't have one on your truck, and you need to get them going temporarily, what you can do is you can put a uh, a solenoid magnet on there. And pretty much what that does is take the place of your coil. You can take this off of here and pop this on the solenoid. And that'll open up that valve and allow your refrigerant to flow to give you enough time to go to the parts house and uh, get you a new coil and come back and replace it. It's not a long-term solution because basically your refrigeration will never shut off. So it'll eventually freeze up on you. Uh, the evaporator coil will anyway. So, but that can get you by for a couple hours until you get the part you need and go back to the location. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on the solenoid coil. Hopefully that'll help you out.